Today I'm going to talk about a pile of different roles that you can have in a project. So I've already talked about the project manager and the sponsor and I'll link to them above. Now I'm going to talk about the other roles. So you've got assistant project manager, they're the person who assists the project manager. They may be the assistant to the project manager, like more like a PA, or they may be an assistant project manager, which means that they actually sort of are the second in command. You've also got roles like project coordinator. They quite often are more like the assistant to the project manager, but they can have a bit more of an assistant project manager role. It's kind of maybe slightly lower, but it depends on the company. Then you have project admin. They are proper administrative roles, usually, but sometimes they're not. It's so weird. Then you've got planners. Planners um, run the plan. So in Microsoft Project, maybe Primavera, or maybe even in Excel. They're kind of similar to schedulers. Schedulers really do usually use top-end sort of software like Microsoft Project, whereas planners usually are much more sort of a little bit, I don't mean lower level, I mean more in the project. They understand exactly what the work is and they make sure it happens on time. Then you have people in the PMO. The PMO, the Project Management Office, um, I'll do another video soon and I'll, when I make it I'll link to it above. Um, they sort of support all the projects within the organisation. Um, and there's loads of people within them. I'm not going to describe the PMO here, I'll make a video soon about the PMO and I'll link to it above and you can find out about all the lovely people in a PMO. Then you have specialists. Now these are people like engineers, um, actors, um, artists, uh, welders, all sorts of things, design engineers, electrical engineers, programmers. They're the people who actually do the work and they are the specialist in whatever they do. You. It really depends on the project, which of these you have and how many you have. Then we have users and we also have the customer. The customer is the person who has sort of commissioned the project. So if you're making a train line, it's the Minister for Transport. The users, on the other hand, they're the commuters who are going to use your transport. So you've really got to think about the different types of people, really, because they've got very different interests, and you may find that the Minister for Transport understands the macroeconomics of trains, but doesn't actually understand what people want on their trains. So it's balancing those two needs and wants, because actually your money in the end comes from the customer, but the users are the ones who are going to use it. There's more of them and they're going to shout louder. Then you have the other functions, so you have finance, and they make sure you're paying money to the right people at the right time and you're getting money at the right time, looking at whether you're overspent, all of that jazz. Then you have commercial, they look at your contracts and make sure the work you're doing is within your contracts and not going outside of it. They also uh, make sure you're not doing sort of extra work, as well as making sure that you're doing everything you should do within your contract. Um, so they're quite useful people. You, you also have procurement, they're people who order whatever stuff you need. You've got supplier managers and they manage suppliers if you're getting subcontractors to come in and help you. It feels like most of the roles you generally have on a project. Let me know what other roles you have on your project and comment below. If you like this video, do click subscribe and goodbye.